Time for a Story is a time for you to join us in Studio W to tell stories and to listen. You'll have the opportunity to speak for, from a mic such as this, which according to our tech expert, Tommy O, is the easiest way. If you are Italian and talk with your hands and need to move around, you have the option of this microphone that you'll be able to explore the room a little bit more, get closer to the audience to tell your story. If you need podium style, there's this table over here that will be available to you with the microphone as well. We are trying to accommodate you in every way possible as a teller of story. The video staff for this project will be Bruce Haig, a longtime uh, contributor to our television. Uh, our original meeting up with him was through Mission Continues. So he started here as part of a veteran project. He's going to try to capture the movement and the audience interaction and you telling the story. You're not to worry about where the cameras are. He's figuring that out for you. Being present is what we ask of you, Wallingford. We ask you to be present with us, to come tell your story, to have fun, to get to know others, to experience and explore and discover your own voice. 7.15 arrive, 7.30 we get going. We'll provide some refreshments, at least drinkable ones. There will be an audience on set and there will be an extended audience in the room. As the teller, three to eight minutes to express a story to bring that audience along with you. And after that three to eight minutes, you can take as much of that as you want, but when it's eight minutes, we're going to uh, have somebody doing some timing and there'll be a little thing that can be turned over at three minute marks to show you that it's time to think about wrapping up or reaching that climax for your story, that arc point of your story. Time for a story. We'll have themes. We'll also have guest storytellers. I understand we've got a Grand Slam Moth winner coming and joining us. We have other storytellers from around the state that are interested once we get up and running and can prove that people will come out and listen. They will show. So if you show, we will have really cool storytellers for you in addition to other folks from the community. What should you know about storytelling? One of the things is we don't want you to say, this story is going to be about, and then go, oh, I'm sorry. We encourage you to possibly tell your story starting with a question. Like, did you ever have an experience with a computer that just put you over the edge, that got your heart to come to a point of stillness? Hmm. And if you see nods in the audience, you might know that some other people have had a similar experience and might be willing to know more about that story. Did you ever have an experience with a bat that wasn't on a ball field? Did you know that a bat could be used as a weapon of racism? Ooh. Tonight's stories are supposed to be about first. Everybody has first. You know, what comes to mind? First kiss, first date, first time um, taking a sled ride into a tree, uh, first time getting your knee scabbed. You might actually reach out to the audience and say, what kind of first did you have? So many firsts. Like, I wish I remembered the first times of eating certain foods because I, I can't really remember them. I remember the first time I went cross-country skiing. Mm. And it wasn't just cross-country, it was kind of downhill, <laughs> <laughs> which was quite a surprise. First, first time I carried three dozen eggs when I was seven or eight. My arm just got long enough so I could stick that third box of <laughs> eggs under my arms. I bet you were selling eggs. No, I was just delivering. Just delivering. Oh. Did any of those first pique your interests? One of the other things about being a listener to stories here at Time to Tell a Story is that we want you to be a listener to the point of not saying, oh, I had a story just like that. That's a responsive story listener, and you're going to remember what you want to say about your story rather than getting engaged with the teller. 
So we want you to think about expansive questions, questions that will take you a little bit deeper into what you're hearing. So those are the basics. We don't want you to apologize for drifting off and remembering something last minute. We don't want to hear apologies. We want to hear the story. We want you to be listening because listening is as important as the telling. You're going to get a chance to pick what the stories are about. We do have a current online poll. Some of the themes already getting some attraction, attraction, or attraction, travel, animals, those are the ones I remember. There might also be um, heritage, you know, stories about family. Um, so if you have an extended family in Wallingford, um, maybe tied to the Hungarian Society or Polish, Polish National um, or the Grange and farmers, um, then there's some heritage stories that you can share here. And uh, come and have fun, discover, enjoy. Is it time for a story? Oh my God.